Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Take Two. Today we're playing Immortal Redneck. Oh, you can scroll either one. Alright. Oh, hello! Look at him go. Oh, they're just coming out of the ceiling. Whoa! Go away. Okay, I think that was health. I, actually, you know what? I haven't tried the, uh... There we go. Still pretty short on, uh, health. Oop. Oh, I need that health. Oh, go away. And we're sprinting. Oh, no, I had to reload. Oh, I'm trapped in the corner. <laughs> Just keep moving. What on earth? What on earth did that not hit then? Who's still after me? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I don't think they can jump either. That's not health. Oh, yep. Fucking text. Just like the fed fucking government. We need to keep going. Oh, that's cool. Hang on. Go away. Oh. Where's that one thing? Oh, it's like Invader Zim. No, nope, that's over here. Okay, so that will damage me. Six health left. Ooh. All right, and then this area is also a dead end. Get sniped. Or I guess it'd be get on. Okay, so I guess this middle part is an elevator. We can go up to a higher floor now. Enemies have extra 10 health and extra 20 damage, but ammo has plus 5 and plus 5% 5 gold. Alright, that sounds fair. Okay, so the gold is to reach the very top. So I guess we just want to keep climbing. Oh, this must be on the bottom floor. Oh, there's no door up here. Here we go. I forget that damages me. Ooh. Oh, they're <sighs> gored by the pigs. Wait a second, we can actually just change our character? Oh, let's try the new one then. Increase your rate of fire. Increase ammo collected. Oh, we just have more. Oh, this is worth it. Oh, and we have... Oh! Wow. I mean, I know it says you can only do one consecutive jump, but that's also all I could do with the uh, redneck, too. Alright, so this gun's great. That's more for, like, bosses, I guess. And this is probably a grenade. Alright, three shots for those guys. I mean, you shouldn't take as many shots for that guy if I can aim. Ow. Increase your movement speed. Well, don't mind if I do. Whoa! 
away. Oh no, falling from the ceiling. Oh, there's just so many of them. Oh no. Scroll. Increase maximum health by 30. That's great. Real question though is does it actually give me health back now? Ooh. I didn't realize one of my own grenades was still floating around. And third floor we go. Maybe. Yes. a boss fight, finally. Oh, there we go. He's got a lie. You the big boss? Okay, I don't think I can damage him. pretty good. Well, oh, everyone, once this is going to bring us the review section for the Immortal Redneck. Now, I'm not usually a fan of roguelike games because oftentimes that new feeling of it quickly wears off and gets replaced with grinding for updates, making it kind of a chore to play those games. But I'm happy to report that this isn't the case. The skill tree actually adds meaningful upgrades and unlocking avatars with new loadouts, weapons, and perks is actually a quite fun. You know, it never feels like it gets too repetitive or too grinding. Uh, the weapons are also interesting, and the movement and shooting also feels very smooth. Now, I will say, the only real complaint I have is that there are debuff scrolls inside the pyramid when you have a run, and these are very annoying, because they can cancel out all of your upgrades that you spent, and it just ruins the run overall. Now, I wish you could choose a scroll that has both a buff and a debuff on in order to kind of balance out the gameplay, instead of automatically acquiring either a good or bad scroll. But overall, if you like FPS games and roguelikes, then you'll definitely enjoy this game. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.